Is our drinking water safe? Let's look into it. Today I'm going to take a look at our drinking water. Uh, the reason this came up a couple weeks ago, I saw a uh, YouTube video, uh, an expat couple, uh, not too far from here actually, they were saying in their video that our drinking water that most people get here uh, in the blue jug, everyone refers to it as the blue jug, it's from the water station. Uh, every barangay around here has one or two stations, so there's a lot of them. They were saying in there that the water from there is no good and uh, that the people don't take care of the equipment. They don't change the filters because they cost too much. And I was, I was a little taken back by it because I'd never heard this before. I've been here quite a few years. I've never heard of, never heard anybody speak about it. The only thing people talk about is, you know, make sure you get your water from like the blue jug from the water station. Don't drink the tap water. Everyone knows that here. And uh, so I was a little taken back by it. So I said in a live stream uh, on Philo's channel that, uh, you know, I didn't really believe him. Uh, I even had people uh, message me, uh, a couple people, and they were, were like two days later, and they were saying that all the people rip, every, rip off the poor Filipinos with the, you know, from the water, it's no good and all this stuff. And I was like, you know, again, taken back, I said, this guy must have watched the same video I did. Because you never hear about that. You never hear anything like that about it. And uh, so my take on it was, you would hear something, okay? I mean, there's so much of it going on that you would hear from somebody about it, okay? And afterwards, though, I thought, you know, what a hypocrite. Maybe, maybe there's some truth to it. So I decided to find out. You can get these little testers. This is a little one. A uh, couple hundred pesos. I think it was about 230 delivered. Uh, you can get up, you know, a thousand pesos, 1200 pesos. You know, they're not that expensive. But, you know, they, they seem to be pretty accurate. Uh, at least good enough to kind of get a rough idea. Of what are we looking at here? So let's get into it. Let's go see what we got. All right. This won't take too long. Follow along. All right, well, here we go. We got the blue jug, okay? And uh, this, you know, kind of give us a good baseline. I've got some, uh, uh, hopefully that'll focus in there a little bit. That is distilled drinking water. Now, that should be pretty good, okay? Distilled because of the process. So I got that. And then I got, ooh, the dreaded tap water. And we'll, you know, compare it between these and let's see where we end up, Okay. All right, so I've got the distilled water. I don't know if I can focus in on that too well. It's really a small little meter, but it says zero. Hmm. wonder if this thing's even working. Huh? But then again, distilled water should be the very cleanest there is. Okay. All right, so now we've got the dreaded tap water. So I don't, so I don't know if you can read it, but we're definitely getting a reading, okay? 577. Hmm, okay. All right, so here is the blue jug from the water station, and it's reading 13. Okay, so there we got the readings. Now, what do they mean? Okay, uh, this meter is in uh, parts per million. Other meters have uh, just a numerical number, and then you got to look at the scale to compare it to what what that is in parts per million. But this one is just direct parts per million. So it's very easy to figure out. It's got a little scale on the back. Again, kind of small, even a little hard for me to read. But uh, nothing surprises me here, okay? Uh, so distilled water was zero, and it should be, really, if you think about it. 
So that's the absolute purest you're going to get, distilled water. Okay, so according to this, 0 to 20 is very high quality drinking water, okay, purified drinking water. And uh, the blue jug was 13. Okay, so looks pretty good. The tap water was over 500, 577. Uh, according to this, that is considered polluted water by EPA, uh, U.S. EPA standards. Well, that may be a little bit more than I wanted to hear, but actually I did look into that uh, before. And uh, remember, this is uh, standards for drinking water, okay, which are very high standards. Uh, potable water for using like washing clothes, taking a shower in, comes under different standards. And 577, it's not very good, but it's not going to kill you. Uh, I think some of us may remember uh, something happened in Flint, Michigan in the USA not too long ago. And I understand the water there was, part, the parts per million was in the thousands. Okay, several thousand parts per million. Okay, now, now this tester is just for uh, t testing of total dissolved solids, okay? But now that can include minerals, which mineral water is not that bad for you as long as it's certain levels, you know, kind of low levels, actually. Um, you can also have biologics in there, okay? Um, you know, uh, bacteria. Uh, also, it could become chemical. But the thing is with parts per million, when it's, the number is very low, it doesn't matter if it's all mineral or all biological. It's so low that it's considered safe for you. Okay, so that's the way you look at it. If you need to know <clears throat> what it actually is, you have to go to a lab or have a very sophisticated tester, not something that we can just buy off of Zada. Okay, but it's really a good handy tool to see, you know, what's going on at your place, you know. Um, Maybe you have uh, your own filter system. A uh, real good way to keep track of it and make sure it's working right. Okay. So I'm not really surprised by all of this. Like I said, I think I would have heard something about this being a problem. Uh, the video was that I saw uh, that the expat couple on there, you know, they were pretty much just blowing it off. Sounded like they were just repeating the same old hateful stuff you hear on the, the forums and the Facebook groups here. You, you got a lot of group of people that just everything about Philippines is bad. Everything, everything, all, all the girls are bad. You know, it's just so generalization. Okay. Uh, do some of them have bad water? I'm sure they do. There's a lot of them here. Like I said, probably two in every barangay, at least two in every barangay. I'm sure your bigger barangay is going to have a lot more than that. So, yeah, of course they do, but I think the majority of them are probably pretty good. And, uh, you know, in that video, they were saying they don't want to spend the money and change the filters every month because they're expensive. Well, they really don't know the process and the way these uh, stations work and the way the operation is in there. Uh, one first thing is you don't change the filters every month. OK, it's over a certain period of time. Uh, you have one or two of the filters that are very expensive. The rest of them are not that terribly expensive. They're also back flushed on a regular basis to clean them out. The way the, the main filter on one of these works, the first pass filter is a very expensive one. My cats are playing hard, roughnecking. Uh, and that's what that noise is. <laughs> uh, so they, they have a first pass and it's a very expensive about $100 for filters, it's not really that bad, but it is an industrial type filter. And it can be used for a pretty good amount of time as long as it's properly back flushed. And what will happen is if you don't, it's gonna clog up mostly with minerals. And if it clogs up, you're just not gonna get no water flow. You're not gonna have bad water coming out of it. You're just not, not gonna have any water at all. And then you can't do your business because you can't fill the jokes, okay? So they are, replaced on a certain time frame but not every month so obviously in that video they don't they don't know what they're talking about they don't know the way the uh you know the water stations work the way the systems work and so anyway so like i said it's 
it, it's a lot of stuff that you hear repeated around here from people that just, you know, seem to have a negative effect on everything about the Philippines. So, you know, you got to be careful what you listen to. Um, but like I said, I was, afterwards, I, I thought, well, you know, they could be right. But now I know that my water is pretty good. And that's why I thought I would let you guys know uh, this is a good item to have something you might want to use and uh, keep around. Uh, it could be pretty handy. And at least you'll be able to know. You won't be guessing. You won't be speculating. We'll know. Whew. Wait a minute. Hold up. Which one was that? Was that the... Oh, no. Honey?